No, I did get fired, but I almost did because I wasn't. I was turned at a forty-five degree angle away from the flag to yeah. the flag so the Whoa! At a basketball game. Oh, but uh, I'm I'm not supposed to represent my. Uh, so bagging uh, groceries yeah. on base well, for just no, tips, no salary. Yeah, Wouldn't even yeah, make yeah, enough in one day to buy a CD. Oh, yeah. So next thing you know, mom's is picking me up from jail for stealing CDs of Blockbuster. And shit. <laughs> Back in the days when I was a teenager, minimum wage earning, rocking an apron. I was pushing hella carts, asking plastic or paper to bastard ass customers. Plus most. Of us had relatives working in the same supermarket when boss wasn't looking, roll the dice on the carpet in the lunchroom, listening to Biggie and Nas, but not as much as Snoop, 40 Water, and Pac. Me, I rock the Walkman instead, writing rhymes in my head. Often bored, I'd recite them out loud and memorize a song long before I write it down. In lunchroom freestyles is where I learned to clown, plantation style, yellow, brown, black, majority. Half the young cats either enlisted in the army or the navy or marines, but I was having dreams and I ain't even half. Way there yet. It seems that we never get paid what our labor is worth. It's why we often in a days on the way to our work. And when we get there, we can't wait to be out. So let me tell you what it's about. And now we never get paid what our labor is worth. It's why we often in a days on the way to our work. And when we get there, we can't wait to be out. So let me tell you what it's about. So you do telemarketing, right? 7 a.m. shifts on the West Coast means we're calling the East Coast. And on 9-11, this fool tries to fire me for refusing to make calls during the air. The next place of employment's no better than this. My first day thinking this some fucking office space shit. But not me, boss. These conditions ain't suitable. Hide the pen and pad, writing rhymes in a cubicle. Automated phone click, dial tone, cold calling. Hoping for some gullible folks to take the offer. A mission for commission, tuition for college. Please put our number on your do not call us. Half the whole staff graduated with honors. And you're trying to tell me telemarketing's your best job option? This shit is not popping, working to the bone. Living at home, facing up debt and student loans. Now the manager's a tool and a clown. But productivity increases anytime he's nowhere to be found. And this tight ass environment makes me want to earl. Like watching Flavor Flav tongue kissing old girl. Now we never get paid what our labor is worth. It's why we often in the days on the way to our work. And when we get there, we can't wait to be out. So let me tell you what it's about. And now we never get paid what our labor is worth. It's why we often in the days on the way to our work. And when we get there, we can't wait to be out. So let me tell you what it's about. Nah, so like every job I've ever had, there's always been some kind of side hustle, whether it's sneaking in the game, the paper, I was either slanging media guides or slanging them CDs, and uh, you know, just get above that minimum wage. The dot com phenomenon, fuck the city, raw stock market falls down, hundred thousands laid off. Got with Amazon.com. It had a lot of cross dresses, goth cats, ex cons, and single moms on the elevator up. My Walkman on, slash a badge for security, the mark of the beast. But with skills to persuade through speech, you be amazed to see how many customer service reps or MCs. At each instance, different job descriptions. What kept the brother going was the music that I listened to. Initiate the day with an anthem to work through. Then the supervisor started blasting Dave Matthews. Shit is bad news. Working for some assholes in suits, straight singing middle management blues. And so I quit on the last day of training. And when I got home, my notebook was waiting. I said we never get paid what our labor is worth. That's why we often in the days on the way to our work. And when we get there, we can't wait to be out. So let me tell you what it's about. And now we never get paid what our labor is worth. That's why we often in the days on the way to our work. And when we get there, we can't wait to be out. I told you what this shit is about.